Here's why cutting interest rates can cause inflation. Here's what you need to know. So when a central bank cuts interest rates, borrowing becomes cheaper. And what that means is that households and businesses can take out loans more easily to spend or invest. Here's a good example, a house, right? A lower mortgage rate encourages people to buy homes or to get a second home and cheaper credit lines help companies expand their operations. Now, at the same time, there's another type of person on the other side of this equation. There's borrowers and there's savers, right? Savers are going to earn less on all their deposits. So if you have a high yield interest rate savings account, if you're buying bonds, right, they're going to be a lot less likely to keep that money just sitting in the bank. Instead, they want to take that money out and chase yield. They want to spend it. They want to invest it into riskier assets. And together, these two forces boost demand across the economy. And when demand rises faster than the supply of goods and services, businesses can raise prices without losing customers. And that's where inflation comes in. Too much money in the system chasing too few scarce goods. Now, there's also a currency effect. Lower rates make the currency less attractive to investors, often causing it to weaken. And a weaker currency makes imports more expensive, which pushes up prices domestically. So you can see it's like this lever, right? And, and you think, oh, it's just a quarter point. What's the big deal? But cutting rates, even a quarter point, st it, it stimulates growth and pushes money through this cascade effect out into the, the economy. But if the economy is already running hot or supply is limited, it fuels inflation. And that is why central banks need to balance very, very carefully. Lower rates can revive a sluggish economy, but cutting too far too fast and they risk stoking inflation. And this is the exact dilemma that the Fed is in. So far, no inflation has really materialized. And we have jobs being cut, and more unemployment. And so they have the green light to cut rates. But will that inflation materialize in the future? That's what they're afraid of. And that's the key question to consider.